Hello guys, welcome back to some more God of War 3 Remastered. In the last episode we continued Kratos' journey to get his revenge on Zeus and this episode the battle still continues on Mount Olympus. So here we've got Guy waiting for us and let's continue our quest. Zeus on top of Mount Olympus, Zeus is not too far away. Surprise, this thing's motherfucker. back again? Oh, I thought I dealt with this thing in the last episode. See, this guy wants more. Okay, so this guy wants another beating, clearly. If I use my magic powers on this guy, hopefully that should deal quite a bit of damage to him. I don't want to keep using the blades, otherwise we'll be here a while. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the whirlwind, the whirlwind attack, and I hope that'll do a lot of damage to him. The blades attacks obviously do work to cause damage, but the quickest way to deal with those damage to him is just to use a whirlwind attack. See we're in the right place. Hope, obviously, if this guy kills Gaia, obviously it's going to be a long journey to get to the top of Mount Olympus to fight Zeus. Gaia dies. Kratos is going to. It's going to be a long journey to the top of Mount Olympus for Kratos. Here we go. Now he's stunned. Hopefully, I can finish him off now. This time for good. Oh, that's got to hurt. Ooh, I've got to shove this thing inside his body. All right, this is going to hurt. Or maybe not. Oh, Kai's off and said, ah, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. If I grab this, I should be able to swing it straight toward him. Here we go. This thing's still not dead. Perhaps I should do more damage to it. All right. We'll do that then. This guy just doesn't know when to quit. Okay, I think we'll have a quick time seven coming up. Let's do this again. Oh, straight in his heart. This is going to hurt. Hopefully this will be the killing blow. Did that not work? Oh, I have to do it all again. I have to, I have to tap the buttons much quicker, I think, by the looks of things. I thought I'd tap them quick enough, but clearly not. There we go, that did it. Ah, now I use this thing. Okay. Hopefully this will be the killing blow. Ooh, that looks painful. Well, that's what you get when you mess with Kratos. For a second there, I thought I was going to fail that battle, but luckily I didn't. That's not the toughest of battles either. That's probably the easiest, one of the easiest battles in the game. Although we all know I'm not the best at hack and slash games, hack and slash games are my weakness when it comes to video games. I'm never going to be the best at them. I just can't imagine how difficult some hack and slash games are playing them on the hardest difficulty. I don't want to know. Definitely better off playing other genres of video games. Press R1 could just slide straight down quickly. Very nice. Is this Gaia's heart? The heart of Gaia. Oh, is Gaia's heart? So it looks like I need to move this platform. Before I do that, though, I'm just going to quickly see what's up here, see if there's anything useful up here before. We move that platform. What's this? Zeus's Eagle. Prize possession of Zeus. Beat the game to use this item. Okay. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'll ever use it though by the end of the game, but you know, at least we still found something.
Oh, I can turn this thing around. Nice. So you're going to need to do that to get us in the right place for him to climb along this. So now we can climb up there. What Kratos does not want to do is use his anger on the heart of Gaia, because if he does, Gaia will not get into the top of Mount Olympus. Can you just imagine if Kratos got really angry, hasn't got his Avenger, and he just took it out on Gaia's heart? How idiotic. And these guys are inside Gaia? Okay, that's not a good sign. That is not a good sign. These things could easily attack the heart, and then it could all go downhill from here. These things are like cancer to Gaia's body. It's the way to put it. I never thought we'd ever get to go inside Gaia either. When I first played this game, I'm thinking, okay. Oh, I hope if I can grab Circle Bar, I hope I should be able to grab him and chuck him off. Yeah, oh, did I just chuck him off? Yeah, I think I did. Easy way to kill these guys. I'm just not going to constantly swing the blades for ages, otherwise we'll be here a while. To do this in the quickest fake way to grab a circle bar and Kratos will just fling them off. So I think that explains how those guys got inside Gaia. Okay, this is not good news. So Poseidon is now on our hope. The fact that Poseidon is actually right near Guy, he could cause a lot of damage to Guy, so I need to be really careful here. So that's what that sea creature was. It was a sea creature for Poseidon. Part of Poseidon, anyway. Well, if I quit finishing off, there we go. Get some more magic. I could do with some more health, though. Will do. Let's get out of here. So now I can literally attack Poseidon as I'm right near it. I found caused quite a bit of damage to this guy. Uh oh. Well, at least I've got my health back, though. Oh, fucking hell. Did not see that coming. I should have been more prepared for that. I knew Poseidon had, a, had an attack coming somewhere. Oh, here it comes again. Oh, good job I moved out of the way that time. I can't imagine how painful that must be for Guy every time Poseidon does that. Although Poseidon, although Guy doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be showing a lot of pain at the moment. Okay, I need to move. Whoa, that was close. Oh god, he's doing this now. Actually, can I climb up on top of this? Oh, yes, I can. Oh, okay, perhaps I can't do that yet. Ouch. Okay, I guess the time will come for that. Perhaps I'm rushing ahead a little bit. I thought there might be an, I thought there might be a bit an even better way to do more damage to this guy, but I think I have to wait until a quick time segment comes up or something, or when he's done, so I can go up there. Otherwise, Poseidon is just going to keep swinging me to that platform, so I need to wait till we stunned at the right time. That must really sting Gaia. You just look and you think, how is Gaia not showing any signs of pain? I'm just going to stand here. What? Oh, okay, perhaps he can get me from there. I hope not. Oh, okay, that was close. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought I dodged that. So I've got to fight this. Got to deal more damage to this guy again. At least I know what his attacks are now. Obviously, I'm going to 
obviously I have to deal with a bit of damage but hopefully I can deal enough damage from this time maybe be a bit more wise when I use my magic powers there we are come on surely I can do enough damage to this guy okay this should do some damage Ooh. get off me Oh, we're gonna move, move, move! Whoa! Oh, that did catch me. And do that didn't do much damage. I thought it would. So when we finish with this guy, Kratos is gonna show off one brutal death. Like I said, this game does have a lot of brutal deaths, and the death of Poseidon is a brilliant example of that. Of what we can expect in terms of violence from God of War Three. Okay, here we go. Now he's stunned. So now I'd be able to climb up this. And hopefully this time actually take him out. Here we go. Straight into the heart. This is gonna hurt. Oh, oh, there was another quick time segment. I did not just screw that up. I was still tapping the circle button when the square button appeared. How stupid of me. Oh, here we go. Let's do this again. Okay, this time I hopefully I can finish this guy off. Hopefully this might be the killing blow. Oh, that's going to hurt. Okay, this guy's still standing though. Oh, I'm back up here again. So I just need to, I just need to be extra careful for Poseidon's attacks. Oh, uh. so if I can take all these out, hopefully we'll then fight Poseidon again. Ah, what oh, has Kratos got in mind now? should have kept you where you belong no matter how many gods fall there will always be another to stand against you they will fall as well the death of Olympus means the death of us all then prepare for your death Poseidon okay here we go be prepared for probably most epic deaths in gaming history this is such a cool death fight, though. it just shows how over the top Kratos is with killing people sometimes. I just can't imagine the pain Poseidon's in right now, but honestly he deserves this. Here's a rule for people in life, do not fuck with Kratos, no matter what it is.
death of Zeus is within our reach. Climb to my hand. So Kratos just killed Poseidon and it caused the sea levels to rise. <laughs> How typical. Skirts of Athena. Athena is dead because of the rage that consumed you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? The hands of death could not defeat me. The sisters of fate could not hold me. And you will not see the end of this day. I will have my revenge! Petulant child, I will tolerate your insolence no more! Sacrifice. I have been denied release. I, I will defeat Olympus. I will have my revenge. So unfortunately, it might seem a little bit longer before Kratos can actually get his revenge on Zeus. So now we're in the river stick. That's how you pronounce it. Oh, we've got creatures in the water as well. Ned all draining all of Kratos' power. So once again, Kratos has lost all his power. Just like in the, end, in the start of the same game, Kratos will have to get his powers all over again. Bit typical what happens again, right? And it's literally absorbing all his orbs away now as well. After all those orbs I grabbed earlier. And I won't be able to use them. We're in the realm of Hades. Oh, so we're in Hades territory now. And we've got loads of people falling. Appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. 
So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on, and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of his strength. The flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? What has brought about this change? I see truth where I did not before. Perhaps these will earn back your trust. These are the Blades of Exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. Remember, as long as Zeus reigns, there is no hope for mankind. Destroy the flame protons, and the very foundations of Olympus will crumble. Blades of Exile. These blades will be your most powerful ally against Olympus. Alright, like the sound of that. So it looks like Athena's redeemed herself for now. Although you just never know with Kratos, do you? Perhaps it might take a bit more than that for Athena to redeem herself. So now we're in the depths of Hades. Oh boy. So how do we go from the top of Mount Olympus to the bottom, the depths of Hades? It doesn't matter how far much Kratos has fallen, this does not mean Kratos is giving up yet. I mean, you could do anything to Kratos, that will get in his way, but that is not going to stop him getting his revenge. He will do this until he gets his revenge, basically. This will just show it. So I think that's all of them. So I think I can say my progress is. So I think we've done quite a bit for this episode, so I think what I'll do is I think we'll end the episode here. Okay guys, I'm going to end the episode here, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe, and keep up to all the God of War 3 remastered episodes uploaded to my channel, and our next episode we'll explore the realm of hate, I'll see you all then, Zeus will eventually get what's coming to him, I'll see you all in the next episode, thank you for watching, this is Goldie X, and I'm out.